Right, we're back, and I've taken some time to play a bit more with the charge blade, so I'll actually just go straight into showing you what those other mechanics I was talking about are. Uh, just get that out of the way before we go into ranged weapons. Right, uh, just get my files up a bit here. Sorry about that, guys, I do also have to be a faller, so. <laughs> Child is happy, we can continue. Yeah. Child's not happy, she's just content for what she's got just now. <laughs> right, so the sword buff is actually done in a completely different way to the shield buff. Oh, right, okay. Because you don't, you have not to be an axe mode when you activate it. What Ooh. it is, is when you push right trigger and circle to mm -hmm. charge your files, push triangle as well, and you'll go into this, release. Uh, oh, wait. That's the attack you need to do to get the buff. Like, mm -hmm. that exact animation is what will happen for the buff. The issue is, is it seems like you need your shield buff first. Ah, so you actually so, did you did it right, but you did it at the wrong time. Yes, so there's the shield buff. Let's just get the file back up. There we go. And as you see, that doesn't take up your files. Huh. So now, you're doing a lot more damage. And you're doing your element, and you can do that. You can just slide about the place. <laughs> that is awesome. And you can now do something else. Just the charge move with this. Now rains lightning down because that's the element. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. So. This is great to have buffed. Also, a thing I forgot to mention is sword slashes, where you oh, waste your... sword's a different colour now. Uh, it's now flashing. It's flashing because the buff's about to run out. The buff for the sword doesn't last as long. Ah, uh, see. But yeah, uh, you may notice that the character moves the shield around a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, if the enemy hits the shield at any point during any of these attacks, it blocks. That is cool. Also, with the shield buff, uh, if you block an attack with one of these, like if the enemy hits your shield by accident, you will automatically get a file and also your shield will explode with your element, dealing damage <laughs> to your enemy. That is mean but so awesome. Yeah. Now, we're going to get into the bow. Just now. Uh, bows it's not the most complicated, but it is the, the first is thing that you has... Charge. Right, sorry about that, guys. Had to go uh, put my baby to sleep for a second, so... Bow, as I was saying, fairly simple, but has some intricacies. I like its running animation, because he always keeps his hand by the arrows. That is really cool. Yep. That's a nice touch. Now, you don't need to aim with the bow. as a unique thing for this. Mm. You can just uh, start shooting. without aiming. Hmm. Now, you may notice I now have things here, if I push up or down, like different coatings yeah, uh, yeah. instead of ammo types. So let's just go with power coating, it increases your attack. If you push triangle, you apply that coating, and there we go. I now have, see how there's a little flashing file down in the bottom right? Mm -hmm. Until that runs out, I have that amount of shots. Uh, until that runs out, that will do extra damage. Mm -hmm. Or they can paralyze, or you do more damage at close range. Poison, sleep, uh, explosion. There's I a do. few things. <coughs> uh, as you saw there, you can charge up your attacks one level, two levels. Mm. Now, you don't need to worry about stopping charging to do uh, dodge. Mm. You can dodge mid charge. That is really cool. And you will continue to charge while dodging, by the way. Hmm. So. Oh, it, it does, however, drain stamina a lot. Hmm. So, left trigger is aim, like an assure. Yeah. Essentially, you can aim easier and more freely than any of the previous Monster Hunters. Hmm. Now, bows have a maximum range. Do they? Yep. I am um, out of range. Huh. And when you aim at something, it will tell you if you're in range or not. Mm. Like I, I can hit that from here. I can't hit that one. Mm. 
So that's always useful to know. No. You have quick shots. It is just a quick shot. As you see, it doesn't hit unless you're close. And then you can do a power shot. And then an arc shot. Hmm. Which, uh, if I aimed it properly, that would rain down. On that, yeah. Yeah. However, you can go straight to arc shot by getting your charge and then pushing circle. And it will also hit what you aim at. Instead of just being a set amount of space. Although there is a maximum range for them. Mm. Charge shot is just, it's a good shot. You deal two hits with your level one charge, you do three with a level two, and you do one with no charge. Mm. Charging just adds extra arrows to your hit. Uh, I believe it does change the, uh, yeah, it does change the damage a little. Yeah. So essentially, at level two charge, you're getting the most. You can dash forward as well. Hmm. There used to be a melee attack you could do with them. There isn't anymore. Yeah. Uh, and now for the final thing, which is the dragon piercer. Hmm. Which is you push. You c you don't need to aim this, but it's better if you aim it mm -hmm. because it takes a lot to wind up, and then it'll fire. Can you aim mid charge? Yeah. You, you can aim the whole time, mm. up until it releases. Uh, I don't think you can cancel it. Nope. Uh, it does what its name implies. It does a lot of damage and it pierces enemies. So mm. it'll just keep going through them. So if you line up some enemies in a row, good. Uh, but sorry for that, Mikey was getting food. Uh, so he might be a bit silent just now. Yep, I yeah. apologise. Oh, uh, whatever, I'm, I'm the one doing most of the talking anyway. So yeah, jump attacks. You've got, ah, you have a jumping melee attack. Oh, okay. But that's all. It, it is just, stab you with my arrow. Those are big ass arrows, I have to say. You're hunting dragons, Mikey. Yeah. Uh, but it's slide is pr quite possibly the best place, because slide, and uh, I forgot to pull out the weapon. So, you know, you can slide and then do nothing. And that helps a lot. So, slide. Uh, You're that, walking. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't the slide, but... There you go. You can charge a shot on your way down. Mm. That's... There you go. That That's the bow, guys. It's, it's a bow. Uh, I believe Dragon Piercer is not unique. Uh, no, Dragon Piercer is just a thing that all bows have. Uh, it's not special to this one. However, you may notice it says they are coatings. Mm. Uh, those weapons, uh, bows have, can't use every coating. Mm, mm. Different bows will have different coatings that they can use. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's always something to keep in mind. I don't understand that one because the coating goes on your arrow, not the bow. Yeah. But whatever. Uh, Kinsect, obviously, uh, I'll go back and cover this. The Kinsect bonus is whatever Kinsect you have. Uh, that's a severed type, so your mm -hmm. cutting damage does more. Uh, that tells you what notes it has. Uh, shelling type is normal. Shelling level is free. means that it'll do level 3 damage and it'll only have normal shots. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get fire shots and stuff. Power file, I believe, does... Uh, I'm not sure what power file does. Impact file uh, does blunt damage mm. I believe with certain attacks uh, but we're moving on to guns now so we'll go for, for the there are two heavy bow guns in this uh, beta mm -hmm. so I only need to explain all of it with one yeah and uh, only special for the other uh, so it says special ammo there wyvern heart that's mm -hmm. what it super does right which I'll go into That it, it, it does wyvern heart uh, next point this list this is all of the ammos it can equip, and to what level. Like, this can equip all levels of normal ammo, mm -hmm. and it shows you how much gets loaded when you do. If I load this with normal ammo, it can shoot 10 times before I have to reload, mm -hmm. uh, etc. Uh, so, this can't use recover shots or sleep. So, I can't put monsters to sleep with this, and I can't heal allies. Mm -hmm. Because recover heals your allies. Always useful, uh, if you're going to be support. Uh, also, it can't use track darts, I believe it said there. Yes, you, you can't use track darts. Mm. 
But let's get into this. Heavy bow gun is a very big gun. Basically. Mm. Uh, it used to be that you could uh, take a special stance where you went down on one knee. Uh -huh. Increased your accuracy, you uh, stopped you from getting as much knockback, things like that. Uh, also, when I equipped this, I forgot to mention, this has shield equipped, which is that faceplate on the front. Mm -hmm. uh, it does make a visual effect, which is neat, but this means that if I'm aiming, an attack from the front will do less damage. Awesome. Uh, you can put things like silencers, long barrels, scopes on them, so you can uh, be a sniper. Now, <clears throat> shooting is simple. It is a shooting game. Just shoot. Now, you may notice, at this distance, normal ammo is doing one damage. At this distance, it's doing six. So that's there very are, much a close range weapon then. There are optimal damages. On uh, it depends hunt. on the ammo, I believe. Uh, normal ammo 2 will. Uh, nope, normal ammo 2 also has the same range. Uh, the ammo uh, determines what you need to think. Cluster bombs are fun, as you can see here. Hmm. You become a mortar. Was it one damage? Really? <laughs> and then it started to show uh, me what was actually ammo. happening. Sticky ammo is also fun. Hmm. Because it just attaches a bomb to your opponent. Which eventually explodes. Mm. Uh, freeze ammo is self explanatory. Uh, fire ammo, I believe, if this does the same thing as it does in light bow guns, it does not. Uh, I'll get back to that in light bow guns then. Dragon ammo is a slow moving grenade. Hmm. It does nothing if it doesn't hit, by the way. Right. If you hit the ground, it does nothing. Poison ammo, paralysis. Exhaust is handy because it drains stamina. Mm -hmm. Unlike a hu uh, character, at zero stamina, a monster will pass out. Hmm. And you'll get some free damage on it. Uh, demon ammo is a buff ammo, so I can't physically hit anything else with this. So, see, it just passes straight through. But, see, my palico buddy, he's here for training this. Shoot him. He glows red because he now has a tack up. Mm. Mm. That's and armor does the same thing, but with defense. Yeah, and the you can have both on. Yeah, it's useful. Uh, here's normal ammo free. More damage. Yeah, basically. Pierce ammo makes your shots uh, do cutting damage, so you can cut off tails. Right. Uh, always handy. Spread ammo, if you notice, I can't hit it from there. It won't do anything. And from here, I can hit with some of it, and it does one damage. If I get real close, however, and yes, you're right, it is 100% a shotgun. So, get real close, and you can start piling on damage. Mm -hmm. uh, sticky ammo uh, is the, the same as I explained earlier. Mm -hmm. Slicing ammo also does cutting, but in a different way, mm. because it explodes into lots of cuts. It's useful. Mm. Uh, do I have liver ammo? Yes. Do you remember the gun lances special move? Um, vaguely, yeah. The one that causes overheat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The uh, heavy bow gun can use <coughs> that as a special ammo that's really cool but you have to be right up close mm -hmm. now that's all of those mechanics for this there is actually a melee attack you mm. can beat people with it but then we have our special ammo remember how this one was wyvern heart yeah this is what wyvern heart does Ready to go. i now have a machine gun that's unique to this one in the beta yeah. I'm assuming multiple weapons will have Wither and Heart. Mm -hmm. uh, and now it's got a very long recharge time for that. Yeah. So it's not broken. I see that move being really effective if you're fighting something that can fly. Yeah. And it takes off, pop that, clip its wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring it back down to the ground. I can certainly see that being handy that way, yeah. Yeah. So that's that one special. For the other, I'll just go straight into the other heavy bow gun, which also has a shield on it, but the light bow gun doesn't. 
mm -hmm. even though it can. And no, light bulb guns can't have shields, but they can have other uh, equipment that the heavy ones can. Mm -hmm. Some of it is shared. This has the same uh, downsides as the other one. It has the same, exact same ammo mm -hmm. that it can use. Uh, at the same rate, I believe, as well. It's the only thing difference is the special ammo. So, this one's called Wyvern Snipe. Mm -hmm. So, it does exactly what you think it does. Which is, you go... I put that. You go prone. And you have a big sniper shot. Nice. Yep. That's that one special. So, now we go to our last weapon. Which will be... I did notice that one of your um, bow guns actually did have the capacity to re recover teammates' health. The light one. Uh -huh. The light one can heal. Which is always useful to have someone that can do that. Mm. Uh, if, if you need a healer anyway. If you've got enough potions, you don't. The upside to the light bow gun, it doesn't take as long to pull out because it doesn't need to expand. Light gun is a lightweight mm. range weapon that's great uh, for it's quick attacks pretty much the same thing. Uh, you've got your different ammo types, but some ammos will do different effects. Spread ammo will do the exact same, but you can all equip, uh, you can equip less of them. Sticky ammo will do the same. Flaming ammo, however, becomes free run burst, Ooh. which quite possibly my favourite thing about it. Mm. Uh, but it looks things like poison ammo does. Uh, ah, no, poison ammo is just really slow. That's what the down arrow next to the thing means. It's a slow moving projectile. Other than that, it's got the same stuff. Uh, recover ammo is exactly what you think it is. It's the same as the buffs. Aim at teammate, shoot them. Uh, you can't heal enemies, so don't worry about that. Now that's a special. Uh, and I don't know if that's unique to this gun, or if that's all light bow guns, but that is a bomb that will eventually explode itself, or you can shoot near it to get multiple explosions off of it. Not seem to explode. No. The, 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 did you notice how this is my normal shot? When I shoot near that, oh, it creates, it's, it's the it's, gas. It's like a Roman candle, Mickey. Mm. Um. And you can have you have three of those at your disposal. So, see you come up and the monster is asleep, mm. and you snuck up on it. You just pop that, mm. pop two of these right near it, and then aim low on its body, mm -hmm. and just go half. Also, the amount of damage that those uh, explosions do is it scales with the amount of damage that your ammo does. Right. Uh, like the explosions take on the effect of the ammo. So like if you shoot a sleep shot at that, that's also small sleep explosions. Hmm. Which is useful. Uh, this also has a melee attack. It's probably garbage. It's the exact same. It, it's just a, oh no, I have zero other options. Yeah. They both have a downwards smack and they can aim while sliding. Mm -hmm. Like the bolt. And that's all of the weapons, and I think <coughs> I got through everything. Uh, the different mantles, obviously. I showed you how to use the mantles before. Challenger mantle increases your aggro mm -hmm. for 180 seconds, which is pretty good. Hmm. The rock steady mantle, you don't react to damage. You can't be pushed by wind. You won't go uh, get stunned when a monster roars. And if the monster can create a small earthquake effect, it, that also doesn't stop you. Mm. Uh, it's just, it's really handy. Mm, mm. Uh, the waterproof is you... You were talking about um, the, wa uh, the the wet status, which is... Yeah. Yes, uh, that helps you move more underwater, or you can't be water blighted. Mm -hmm. uh, you can move faster while walking through water, etc. Yeah. The glider mantle is fun. Uh, I'll just show that off just now. You may notice that there is the health booster here, which is just, it's an item you can drop down. It really reduces <coughs> smoke that will heal you and anyone else standing in it. Huh, that's actually really handy. Yeah. And then you've just got your charms. I think I explained them already. Yeah, you have. They're fairly simple. So yeah. Glider mantle? Yep. We're going to have some fun with that. Also, climbing. Climbing has been changed. Because before, you could 
do a small hop, but now if you push the small hop button, you just grapple right up. That's pretty cool. You can drop off, and you can do jumping attacks off of this. <coughs> uh, I believe you can do other attacks. I don't know if you can do them with this weapon. Yep. You just cut with your knife. Huh. You can change your direction in the air as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put my weapon away. But yeah, you can still sprint up with your small hop, but you have to push the sprint button for that. Mm -hmm. But why would you just grapple? Now, uh, to equip the suit, it is on the left, on your quick select. So let's just put on that glider mantle. And let's go for fun. Uh, Wee! Oh, that is so cool. Glide places, which, as you can see, made me reach those vines and... can be used with that to gain extra height. Mm. But I can now make it all the way over here from that one swing. That's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't last forever, like all the mantles, obviously, mm -hmm. and it has cooldown, but it's relatively fast cooldown. Also, you can do drop attacks from there. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I need to figure out, I hope the mantle doesn't run out soon. Also, you can't have a smoker down while you have your mantle on, so that healing thing, mm -hmm. you won't be able to do that. You can fire your slinger in midair as well. Which means... You can just go for days. <laughs> this is how you get to some of the more difficult to reach areas while hunting. It's not needed, it's just there might be loot up there. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There might be a mining vein that has uh, ores that you can't get anywhere else. Yeah. Kind of stuff. So that's neat, handy, that's how the mantles work. I've obviously shown you the armors and how armor stats work. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's everything for this part, so join me next time on the how to hunt section. It's exactly what